lecture, next lecture, where we learn how to solve the reducible to homogeneous differential equation. Reducible to homogeneous. In first order, first degree. In my last video, you just show how to solve the homogeneous equation. If some equation which are not seems to be homogeneous, there are some constants are there, then how we can so reduce it homogeneous and then solve it. It's, so we can take one example dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y minus 3 upon 2x plus y minus 3. So it's, it seems to be homogeneous but it is not homogeneous because there is the constant 3 in the numerator and denominator, denominator both. So we have to reduce what we have to do, we have to substitute some value of x and y like that. That is we remove this constant 3 from here. If only we can see this dy by dx up to this part x plus 2y upon 2x plus y it seems to be homogeneous. So for this what is the substitution? Substitution is x equal to capital X plus h and y equal to capital Y plus k. When we substitute this in equation number 1 then what we can do next? See here if d we find dx then dx is equal to capital dx plus h and k are constant so h and k becomes 0 similarly dy is equal to dy plus of 0 so dy by dx is capital dy upon capital dx you should remember when you substitute you write the capital letters as the place of small letters so don't confuse with the small and capital letters now x is equal to x plus h y is equal to y plus k so h plus 2k minus of 3 i combine all the constant at one place similarly 2x plus y plus 2h plus k minus of 3 so this is our second equation what is our next step next step is we have to Put, find the value of h and k both are the constant h and k which type of value we want h and k equal to uh, these types of values of, of h and k which gives these two equations equal to 0 so what the next step we put h plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 and 2h plus k minus 3 equal to 0 so that value of h and k when we put here we get this both equal to 0. So our equation becomes reduced in this dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y 2x plus k. So h plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 and second h plus k minus 3 equal to 0. Here this is in 9 time we just solve the two variable equation simple simple equation either we multiply this equation with 2 and subtract from this we can find the value of k or we can multiply this equation with 2 here is 2 and this is also 2 and then subtract we can find the value of h when we solve our h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 see there if h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 1 plus 2, 3 minus 3, this becomes 0. 1 plus 2, 3 minus 3 becomes 0. So, these are the our value of h and k. Hence, our this value of capital X is what? X minus of h. So, X minus of 1. H is 1 and similarly Y, our Y is equal to small y minus of 1. So, this substitution we have to remember because at the end where we find the final solution at that place we replace capital X with X minus 1 and capital Y with Y minus 1. So you should remember these things H and K is equal to 1. Now the further we are going our uh, homogeneous equations becomes dy by dx equal to X plus 2Y upon Y at 2x plus of y. Okay. Now, see, now it 
here becomes homogeneous. So we have to apply the solution of homogeneous differential equation. Substitute y is equal to vx dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx. How it will come? You can see in my previous video. So at this place we substitute dy by dx is equal to v plus x. This is capital X dv by dx equal to x y is equal to vx. 2vx. 2x plus vx. So from this we can remove the x, x, 1 plus 2v, denominator x, 2 plus v. So x, x cancel. Now it becomes variable separable in v and x. Simplify v one side, x is one side. So x dv by dx is what? We took the x in 2 plus v. So it is 1 plus 2v minus of v, this v goes this side, 2 plus v. So what is remaining? See, remaining this 2v is positive, this 2v is negative, cancel, so 1 minus of v square. So this will become 1 minus of v square upon 2 plus v and x dv upon dx. So next, 2 plus v upon 1 minus v square, dv is equal to dx upon x. Now, what we have to do? We have to integrate both the side and we will get the solution. Then we integrate, either you put a square minus x square or you take b minus outside a x square minus a square what is the formula you know integration of dx upon x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2 a log of x minus a upon x plus a. that in my previous lecture i also show you this formula just integration formula so here x is equal to v and a is our one so in there we can separate we take out so 2 minus of 2 dv upon v square minus 1 second is minus of v dv upon v square minus 1 one integration with 2 upon v square minus 1 and other one is v upon v square minus 1 this is log of x plus C or log C, anything. C is the constant of integration. So we have to apply the formula now. So this is minus of 2 log 1 by 2 A. 1 by 2 A is our 1. So 1 by 2 into 1. V minus 1 upon V plus 1. Second minus, if we substitute v square minus 1 is equal to t, then 2 v dv is equal to dt, then v dv is equal to dt by 2. Okay, so there 1, 2 is come, log of t, log of t is v square minus 1 is equal to log of x plus of c. So now, this is the integration part. Finally, we have to just combine all the term and simplify it. At the end, we substitute the value of V in terms of X and Y, capital X and capital Y. At the end, capital X and capital Y replace with small x and small y. Then you will get the final solution. So from there, what is this? Minus log of if we take log totally outside, log of v minus 1 upon v plus 1. And this term minus we are taking outside. So plus of 1 by 2 of log. So log a plus log b is equal to log a plus b. Log a b. So we combine this. This is v square minus 1. 1 by 2 is outside, so power of 1 by 2 is equal to log x 
plus of c. Now b square minus 1 is a square minus x square or, or x square minus a plus b or a minus b. You learn the formula a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b. We factorize it. So when we factorize it, a plus b a minus b, what is our result? Log v minus 1 upon v plus 1 then v plus 1 v minus 1 this is in root because 1 by 2 power is there so now this cancel with this remain in, at the numerator you will found v plus 1 to the power 1 by 2 and there is v minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 so what is the one x step this is minus log v minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 upon v plus 1 to the power 1 by 2 is equal to log of x plus c. Next step, substitute v is equal to y is equal to vx. So, v is equal to capital Y by capital X. When we substitute here, capital Y by capital X, log v is equal to capital Y by capital X to the power 3 by 2 upon x to the power 3 by 2. This is v plus 1 y plus x to the power 1 by 2 and upon x to the power 1 by 2. So we cancel this x with this only x 1 by 2 is cancelled only x is remaining equal to log of x plus of c. Now this term, if this negative term goes this side, so log x plus of log this. So what is our third? next step? Log x plus of this. So log of a plus log b is log of a into b. Log of x into y minus x to the power 3 by 2 upon x y plus x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to constant of integration c. Now x x cancel. Now next step if you want first you take the antilog. So when we take the antilog if we can, we can put this is log of this constant of integration is log of c then what will it becomes? y minus x to the power 3 by 2 is equal to c y plus x to the power 1 by 2. Cancel this 2 also. So next our step is y minus x to the power q is equal to y plus x. At the end just substitute y is equal to y minus 1 capital X is equal to x minus 1. What is the answer our y is equal to y minus 1 minus of x plus of 1 to the power of t is equal to c y minus 1 plus x minus 1. So see what is our answer y minus x q is equal to c y plus x minus of 2 y plus x minus of 2. C will be anywhere. So that is our final solution that is reducible to homogeneous method. First we have to substitute small x and small y in terms of capital X and capital Y and at the end we have to again substitute. I will just very fast I will give you same example with another method. Say there are many